Hank started to walk around the car. No, you drive, I said. He stopped and turned around. I thought you'd want to drive. After all, it's your car. I'm whipped. I need a rest. Hank nodded and walked back around the car. Uncle Billy got in the back and I slid into the passenger side. Start it up, Hank. My feet are freezing. Hank started the car. No heat, eh? Billy chimed in. No room, no padding in the seats, no shocks, no nothing. It's a little sparse, I said. Sparse, said Billy. I've ridden in motorcycle sidecars that were more comfortable. Come on, Uncle, it's not that bad. It's just nice to stop vibrating, that's all I'm saying. We sat, watching the truck driver slowly winching the jag onto the flatbed hauler. Well, you made it to Eau Claire, said Hank. I nodded. That's a small miracle. How long will it take to fix the clutch? asked Billy. That depends how fast they can find the replacement parts, Uncle. Yeah, that could be a problem, said Hank. We might be here for a while. Might be cheaper just to ship the damn thing home, said Billy. I turned to look at Uncle Billy. I checked that out, remember? It was $700. Well, we could rack up that much cooling our heels here in Eau Claire. I turned back to the front. The tow truck driver was securing the jag to the truck bed. Well, let's see what the mechanic says when we get it to the garage. We were lucky to find a place that works on classic sports cars. You think he might be interested in buying it? I turned back to him. We're not selling it, Uncle. You're not the one paying for all this, remember? I went slightly and turned back to the front. Well, your old army buddy would be disappointed if he didn't at least try to get it home. Billy glanced skyward. He's probably laughing his ass off right now at the great joke he played on me. My feet began to tingle as they slowly thawed in the warm air from the heater. I'm going to have to get some warmer socks if I drive that thing anymore in this weather. Well, I'm not riding all the way to Detroit in that thing, I'll tell you that. I need the company, Uncle. There's no radio either. Music